Hi, this is Jeff at Slater's Racing. Just wanted to give you a little information on brake fluid. Uh, there's a lot of confusing information out there about this. And KTM kind of creates some of that by including in their little kit that comes with the bike, uh, at least they did for a few years there, uh, they include this DOT 5.1. So, to back up a little here, there's uh, basically two types of brake fluid. There's a silicone based, that's DOT 5.0. Then there's alcohol based, that's DOT 3, DOT 4, and DOT 5.1. Those are all alcohol based. But the alcohol based can all be uh, mixed together. The silicone cannot. And you cannot use the silicone base, the 5.0, in a system that's designed for alcohol base. What will happen is the seals will swell up in the system. You'll have to rebuild the entire system. So, um, in the service manual on KTM says 5.1, like I mentioned before. Uh, some models of the KTMs come with this 5.1 and the little uh, briefcase that comes with the bikes. And there's nothing wrong with 5.1, but it's basically designed for street bikes. It's designed for long-term use. Guys that are going to ride their bike 10, 20, 30,000 miles and never change the fluid. And so it has less performance, and by that I mean it, it uh, can't handle as much heat from the, from the brake system. But it, uh, it does last a longer period of time, so it's got a longer service life. And it also absorbs less water. That's what makes it have a longer service life, or at least partially what makes it have a longer service life. So it definitely absorbs water less than, than a regular uh, dot 3 or dot 4. So for dirt bikes, we're, I'm more concerned about performance. I don't mind changing the fluid once or twice a year, or more often if you're racing. I mean, if you're racing, I would change it, you know, if it's a long race, like a GNCC, a two, three hour race, I would change it after every race, personally, just to keep uh, optimum performance for your brake system. So, uh, the stop uh, four Motul 600 and the 660 both have extremely high boiling points. The 660 has the highest boiling point on the market. It's, it's pretty pricey, but it's well worth it. It's an excellent product. Both of these, you can't go wrong with either one of those. They're both excellent products. Um, dot 5.1 definitely gets the job done. That's what's in the bike from the factory. And you can even use like a plain old Dot 3 that you can buy at an automotive supply store if you're in a bind. But for racing purposes or high performance purposes, whether it's trail riding or racing, I would recommend one of these Motuls. Both of them are excellent. That's all for now.